Zero? Yeah. Zero is a wonderful thing. In fact, Zero is my hero. How can Zero be a hero? Well, there are all kinds of heroes, you know. A man can get to be a hero for a famous battle he fought. Or by studying very hard and becoming a weightless astronaut. And then there are heroes of other sorts, like the heroes we know from watching sports. But a hero doesn't have to be a grown-up person, you know. A hero can be a very big dog who comes to your rescue, or a very little boy who's smart enough to know what to do. But let me tell you about my favorite hero. My hero zero, such a funny little hero, but until you came along, we counted on our fingers and toes, now you're here to stay, and nobody really knows how wonderful you are, why we could never reach a star, without you zero, my hero, how wonderful you are. What's so wonderful about a zero? It's nothing, is it? Sure, it represents nothing alone. Put place a zero after one, and you've got yourself a ten. See how important that is. When you run out of digits, you can start all over again. See how convenient that is. That's why with only ten digits, including zero, you can count as high as you could ever go. The cavemen till the heroes who invented you. They counted on their fingers and toes. Maybe some sticks and stones. Or rocks and bones. And their neighbors' toes. You're here. And nobody really knows how wonderful you are. Why we could never reach the star without you, Zero, my hero. Zero. I wonder. Place one zero after any number, and you've multiplied that number by ten. See how easy that is. Place two zeros after any number, and you've multiplied that number by one hundred. See how simple that is. Place three zeros after any number, and you've multiplied that number by one thousand, etc., etc. Ad infinitum, ad astra, forever and ever with zero. My hero, how wonderful you are.